What's going on everybody? My name is Carmine and this is Barmine Tech and today we're going to be working with Proxmox again. We're going to be removing the no subscription at Lagon box and we're going to make it so we can actually update our Proxmox machine. So let's get working on it. So last night I actually did this little write up. I did some research on the best way to remove the nag box as they call it and make it so we can remove the enterprise repo and I made this nice write up on GitHub. I put some pictures and I tried to explain it as best as I can and today we're going to work on the video of actually how to do it. So to start, we're going to work on making it so we can actually update our Proxmox box. So you're going to come into your Proxmox GUI and log in. And this is what we're going to remove. We're going to get rid of this box. And if I click on my actual Proxmox node up here, if I come over to update, it doesn't let me update. It says I don't have a valid subscription. And then it's going to fail out. So, see that was already saying it's unauthorized, it's not good. So, because I don't have a valid subscription for an Enterprise Edition, it doesn't let me update from the Proxmox server. So, it's going to fail out and tell me it's not. Now, to start, if you're going to do any of this stuff in this video, if you run it on a production network, or you're running on Enterprise stuff in production, please do not do this. This video is for people like me or you are watching that running home lab stuff simple stuff that if it breaks it's no big deal if you're running and a company depends on it or something like that please don't do this so it's already failing out so see it says task error you can't update so we're gonna fix that right now so so if I come over here and I click on repositories these are the different repositories that Proxmox uses to update itself so these are the regular community ones or the non-enterprise ones I guess and these this one right here is the actual enterprise one so this one comes from Proxmox saying to update it for the enterprise edition so we're going to remove this and we're going to add a new one to replace it so it's easy as this so I'm going to click on the enterprise one I'm going to disable it and now you see I have an error saying that there's no repository for Proxmox V enabled I will not get updates and we're going to fix it just like this I'm going to click add I'm going to get the warning again on how much subscription we're going to drop this down and we're going to click no subscription. We're going to add it. And I will get Proxmox updates, but I still don't have a subscription, which is okay because we're using this for a home lab. I don't need a subscription. We're going to reload it. And if I come back up here to updates and I click refresh, it's going to tell me again I don't have a valid subscription. That's okay. But look, now it's updating. So by changing it that easily, now my Proxmox box was actually able to update. So again, when you do this, make sure you actually come to your actual Proxmox machine in your data center, not a VM, and you're going to do right out of here. So that's how you get all these options. If you click on a VM, you're not going to get the options we're looking for. So make sure you click into your actual Proxmox host in your data center. Now, I do explain all this in my little write-up over here, and now we're going to move on to the next one. We're going to get rid of the nag box at logon. So if you remember when we log on, it tells us that we have no subscription and it gives us that alert every time you log on. So we're going to get rid of that. So to start, we're going to SSH into the IP address for the actual Proxmox box, not a VM. So the same IP you use to access the web GUI is the IP you're going to use to SSH in. So for me, it's 192.168.50.237. I'm going to use PuTTY. I'm going to SSH in. And here we are. So now remember, anything you do in here, you are root. So any changes you make are happening right away. So if you mistype a command, it's going to delete it right away. So be careful what you type. So we come back over here to the write up. I have some stuff. We're going to move over to this first directory. I'm going to open my terminal back up. I just copy the command. And now we're into the right directory. We're going to make a backup with this command just in case something happens. Now, I did this last night on another Proxmox machine and everything went smoothly, so I'm not worried. I'm going to make the backup. The backup's made. Now, you could use whatever text editor you want. I prefer Nano, so we're going to use that one. You could use Vive, Vim, whatever. Some of the commands are a little different, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Nano. So in Nano, it's Control W to find text, and I know in Vi, it's a slash, because I use that at work every day. So now we're going to look for, we're going to use Control W, we're going to search this file, and we're going to look for no valid subscription. And if I can type, I think I missed the R, no valid subscription. Typing's hard. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna copy it because I seem to be having a tough time this morning. And we'll do that. There we go. That was a lot easier. <laughs> so, like I have it over here, this is the, the string of text that we're looking for. And if we look right over here, it found the no valid subscription. And we're going to come up here and we're actually going to modify this part of the file right here. So, we're going to come up here. And if you look at the next line on the right up, this is what we're changing it to. So, right now it has the ext.msg.show and then it has the parentheses in the bracket. And we're going to change it so it just voids it. So if you program, you know that void just means a no return. So we're pretty much just telling it to not return everything that's inside these parentheses and brackets. So we're going to click void. And then remember, any changes you do make, you are root. So it automatically gets them done. So just double check before you make your type of, your typing. Because if you mess something else up, you might break your file. We have a backup and we can always fix it. But just be careful because you are root, so any changes are instant. I'm going to click Control X. We're going to click Yes and Enter to write to the file. Now the file's all done, and I have one more command. It's going to be the System Cuddle, and we're going to restart the services. So I'm going to come and grab that command. I'm going to paste it, and it's going to restart the PVE proxy service. I'm going to click Enter, and it might give you some dialogue about how it runs for me it hasn't so it ran i'm going to come back over to my proxmox machine i'm going to log out and i'm going to refresh it and it still works i'm going to type in your credentials and it didn't work so we're going to try it again okay so i had a little hiccup but I don't know why when Firefox it still shows me the alert but when I log in to my Proxmox machine with Google Chrome it does not show me the subscription box I don't know if that's a bug with Proxmox but you can see I just logged into the same machine again and it doesn't give me the warning box so this was just another quick one. We're going to work with Proxmox a little bit more, but I hope this one was able to help you. Now you can actually update your Proxmox machine and you can get rid of the annoying subscription box. I'm not sure why it doesn't work in Firefox, but it does work in Chrome. So I typically use Chrome as my browser, so maybe you do too. Um, again, if you have an enterprise or you work in a production environment, I do not suggest doing this. You should buy the license and get the support from Proxmox so they can help you if anything does go wrong and that will get rid of the issues that we resolved in this video too. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. There's going to be plenty more videos and we're going to keep working on home lab stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.